July 2019 Everything is so calm. Where are the students? No sound. No music. Even the cat, Laurel, does not want to show himself. And the Argentine hall of the Chateau du Lac seems totally asleep. Unless... Unless it's the cow before the storm. A storm of images and sounds. A deluge of passion. You have just put the right button and then pff, they, they invent so many, many things. They want to achieve perfection immediately from the first time. And when they disagree, they're really totally panicked. And despite a capricious and extreme weather, this edition of the festival will not deprive itself of its reign of distinctions and rewards. From its torrent of emotion, and thunderous applause. Saturday, July 13th, the entire team is finalizing the last preparations. All the rooms are made and for the time being it's about organizing the dozens of shuttles that will bring from the airports and train stations the students and the artists who come this year from more than 30 countries. Some are regulars, for others it is their first time. In the afternoon, arrivals intensify. It is the joy and excitement of old reunions. There are those who are officially expected. And there are those who come to make a visit. Yes, there will be a happy event soon in the Musica Mundi family. Back to the shuttles with already the desire to get to work. I'm really looking forward to the Schumann Piano Quartet. It's a piece that I've played a lot. It's very different to teach a piece that you've played yourself, and I hope to discover also new things in it myself. Welcoming everyone in the best possible conditions for 15 days requires the organization of the festival to follow a very precise score. Recommendations on safety, instructions for group life, explanation of activities. Everybody is concerned, even the cat Laurel. Or almost. Sunday night, the official start of the festival. The famous all-camp meeting, full already by lots of emotions. Here we go. 15 days of individual or group practice, ensemble or orchestra rehearsals, and lessons with experienced professors. 15 days of pure musical pleasure. From Monday, students follow an individual program that allows them to rehearse and implement in solo or in group ensembles the remarks and suggestions of our artists in residence. These lessons and encounters are always exchange moments of a rare intensity. It's not only phrasing in your mind, it means start with less bow, less vibrato, use more bow planning, you know everything. Uh, maybe second time? The Schumann Quartet uh, group are already quite older people that I know since a couple of years. So of course the connection is very different as well. They have already a lot of experience in chamber music, but they were playing this piece for the first time. 
The funny thing is they want to achieve perfection immediately from the first time. And when they disagree, they're really totally panicked. Two people see, two or three or four people see the same score, it's the same print, but they see totally different things. And that's the beauty of music. Okay, so who has the best argument? But uh, can I ask Piano not to rush there? <laughs> and I think they were laughing because they just really totally disagreed and um, it, it was just it was just fun that they had to perform soon. And I said, but that's so wonderful. Please keep on dis disagreeing and that's when the discussion can start, because if everybody agrees, well, what are you going to talk about? What are you going to explore? Monday, July 15th, first day of work and lessons, but also opening concert in the Chateau du Lac. First members of public arrive and are impatient to enter the hall. Okay, as you all know and can imagine, putting uh, more than a hundred people in one photo is never an easy task. Every year there are rituals. The group photo is one of them. And another ritual, the visit to Brussels. While some are already falling asleep, others are trying to be tour guides without attracting the attention of all the public. So the very first edition of the competition, it was not Queen Elizabeth, it was the Isaiah competition. She started the competition on his name. One of her very closest friends was Bella Bartok. So this is why his statue is here. <laughs> but still, the night tour of the city tightens the bonds between the students and allows them to have a well-deserved good time.
Laurel is bored walking in the corridors. He too would like to have a music lesson. First difficulties uh, arrive that they are absolutely sometimes different level of preparation. This burial uh, trio, this is, uh, this is not a difficult piece, but uh, for <clears throat> precise articulation, that all short notes should be articulated piano, very same, very similar to a string instrument. But piano is a very awkward instrument, it's difficult. And for strings, sometimes it's also difficult to play short staccato and to arrange uh, articulations problem. This is maybe technically uh, the, the first job in this bedroom too. They start to breathe together. They start to look to each other when it is a bit or uh, it is some new material appears. This is this is very interesting uh, job. Friday, July 19th. A lot of excitement in the corridors of the school. Tonight, the students play in front of artists who act as jury, the pieces they have studied all week. A bit of stress, or on the contrary, serenity, is read on the different faces. The work we had to do with this uh, trio uh, was very special because they are very young and I wanted them to achieve something very professional. Classical style, it's speaking music. And romantic, it's singing music. Yes? That's a romantic way to play. If it would be classical, pom 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 pim pom pim, more articulation like when you speak. That's amazing how the, the imagination is working. You have just pushed the right button and then pff, they, they invent so many, many things. All the imagination is, is going on and on and on, but uh, we have to, to put that in an organized situation um, and in something uh, useful for the work itself. They understood that, I think, and it was a, a, a cue uh, to get into this work and to uh, say I when they play. So, uh, if I play uh, uh, some little notes uh, or a big chord uh, with the sforzando, uh, then I don't play it just objectively, but like subjectively. I. Uh, and they did it very well. Hey, how was it? How was it? it was Tell us. Yeah, everybody is, is happy. Yeah. Saturday morning, some free time with the choice of the swimming pool or a visit of the Lion of Waterloo. And after 226 steps, a moment of relaxation to regain strength. After the short visit in the afternoon, some more lessons. And tonight, it's the artist in residence concerts on the Chateau du Lac stage.
Monday night, house concert, direction Udo Reckham in Limburg. It takes more than an hour to drive, but the arrival offers a nice surprise. The piano firm, Mane, settled in a church from the 18th century, now transformed to an exhibition hall and auditorium. After the concert, the students enjoy a cooked snack just for them, while the reception of the guests welcomes a surprise. in the morning, back to Waterloo. It is still over 28 degrees and the fatigue accumulates. Yet, tomorrow is the beginning of the second week. Ensure that each young person has his program of the week, solve the problems of some, organize the shuttles for others, manage all the invitations and replies for the concerts. The work does not skip the office.
Okay, everyone, if I can have a moment of your time once more. Tonight is the concert of Musica Mundi's alumni. It is a great pride to welcome these three young musicians with such promising careers. Everything is done to make the evening a full success. Another sacred ritual in the Musica Mundi life, the signature session of the artists in the festival brochures of each student. Not so long ago, these three young artists were also lined up waiting for the dedication of their stars. The week continues. Lessons and practice follow each other constantly. Written press, radio, television, the media coverage of the festival is very wide. A good way to promote artists' concerts.
Thursday, July 25th, day of the highest temperatures ever recorded in Belgium, Laurel flees the building hoping to find some coolness elsewhere. But despite the harassing heat, the orchestra rehearsals go on and the strive for perfection remains a top. Because of the heat initially planned in the Bach concert hall, tonight's concert will finally be organized outside. It will be a great premiere, and for the time being, everything must be done to refresh the cloister and the staff. <laughs> no worries, no thunderstorms are announced for tonight. But the weather had its own ideas. Finally, the concert will take place in the Bach Concert Hall. well that ends well, and the temperatures who dropped are making the air finally breathable. Good thing, because the upcoming weekend will be busy. Probably less for Laurel, who quietly found its habits, but certainly for our students. After the second open student concert Saturday afternoon, the closing ceremony is in full swing. The work of 15 days and much more is rewarded. Students do not hide their joy and teachers do not hide their pride. I learned so much from them about how to become a better musician but also a better person, to have more patience, more empathy, more compassion, more understanding. And that's the great thing about Musica Mundi. They, the kids think that they learn from us but we learn from them every day, and that's why I love coming back here. The Hobus Foundation gives some students the opportunity to realize their musical dream here. And what a success. Thank you.
Sunday, July 28th, Gala Day. The gayness is at its height. Students have the opportunity to prepare for their big moment in the comfortable rooms of the hotel. The atmosphere is electric. Hey, some privacy, please. See you in a minute. Time to gather the troops, and the show can begin.
most important, we have two black cats. We have one cat, his name is Laurel, and the other one is Harley. And we're going to dedicate this piece for them. <laughs> 